everyone, it's the month of June and we are celebrating World Environment Day. So for that, I'm back with yet another episode of your favorite show, Fun Crafts, with me, Aishwarya, where I'll be showing you how to make some amazing wild creatures with paper. of animals and birds and butterflies. You've made the Asiatic elephant, the Indian rhino, even the dinosaur T-Rex. So today we're going to be making one of the oldest creatures of the world, the Gangetic River Dolphin. Highly endangered, the Gangetic River Dolphin is the national aquatic animal of India. And this dolphin is essentially blind. So they navigate the waters using sonar or echolocation. So let's go ahead and bring this cute little dolphin home. So I have with me a 15 cm square blue color craft paper, a pen to draw the eyes and a pair of scissors. So let's start by taking the top right corner and folding it to the bottom left corner and you make a crease. Now you open it out, take your top left and bring it to the bottom right and you make a crease. Open this out now. Now you keep the paper in front of you like a diamond and you fold the right side to meet the center vertical crease and you make a fold. Now let's do the same for the left side also. So I'm bringing the left side to meet the center vertical crease and folding this nicely. Now you open this out and you turn the paper 360 degrees and once again I want you to repeat the previous two folds. So you take the right side and bring it to the center vertical crease and you fold it. Now let's do the same for the left side also. So I'm bringing it this time to the center vertical crease and I'm creating a nice fold. Now you open this out and I want you to cup your left side like this and your right side as well. Just cup this like this and fold this towards the center so you will get a diamond shape with two flaps up like this. Okay. And then you ease out the creases. You can even secure these flaps by folding on them and building on that fold. Now let's go ahead and make the snout of the dolphin. So turn this around now you see this top edge this top tip leave about three to four centimeters from the top okay in proportion to the entire body of the dolphin and fold this towards yourself this tip you make a fold here now from the top leaving only about a half a centimeter gap Fold this back towards the top. You make a fold like this. Now to give some shape to the snout, 
I want you to fold a little bit of the tip inward like this towards yourself. This being done, I want you to fold the entire piece in half. Ensure the snout is inside and nicely fold this. Secure the creases over here and you flip this over like this so that you get a shape somewhat like this. Okay, so we we'll go ahead and make first the tail of the dolphin. So I want you to take a pair of scissors and open this flap out and cut this a little bit from the back about a inch okay just go ahead and cut this so i want you to make the cut along the center vertical crease when you open this flap up so with this cut you would have created two separate flaps now keeping this flat like this you lift this flap which we have just cut and i want you to fold this towards yourself at 90 degrees and now you are seeing the second flap over here. Just fold this upwards like this. Just lift this a little bit and fold this up so that you get a nice shape of a tail over here. Now we'll go ahead and make the flippers. So you're seeing this flap over here. Fold this nicely on the crease on both sides now you will see a center vertical crease over here from running from this point to the bottom edge I want you to take this flap and meet it on this vertical crease at 90 degrees so bring it like this and crease this out so you have the dolphin ready up till now now what we'll do is we'll create the second flipper. So we'll turn this round like this. So once again, ease out on both the side, the crease over here. Open this flap up, okay, open this fold over here. With your right index finger, hold it down at this portion. And with your thumb, press this open in such a way that this flap over here folds itself towards the top at 90 degrees from the bottom. So you are essentially opening this flap out. There you go. Okay, so this fold should look something like this. should be getting a another flipper like this the only thing is that for the gangetic dolphin the flippers are slightly more curved so we will make a tiny fold inward here like this to give it some shape now you take a sketch pen or a pencil or a, a pen and let's draw a nice little eye for the dolphin And there you go, the dolphin's ready. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Go ahead, make the dolphin at your home and add this to the other fantastic origami creatures as well. So stay safe, stay at home, see ya!